Get ready for the ultimate face-off between Jennifer Lopez and Shakira. Join us in this billionaire battle as we find out who is truly living the luxury lifestyle. So let's fight. Round 1. Cars. First up, let's check out JLo's car collection. She has a thing for Rolls Royce, owning not one, not two, but three ghosts. One of the most luxurious cars in the world, the Rolls-Royce Ghost boasts a 6.7-liter twin-turbocharged V12 engine with a whopping 563 horsepower and 820 newton-meters of torque. This beauty comes with a price tag of $337,850 US dollars and gets extra pricey with any additional features. She also has a Bentley Continental GTC with a starting price of $275,325 US dollars, an Aston Martin DB7 worth $112,090, and a Porsche Carrera 911 GTS with 473 horsepower and 550 newton meters of torque that can beat any supercar and is worth $136,000. $6,700. Rounding out her collection is a Cadillac Escalade with a powerful 6.2-liter Vortex V8 engine that develops 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque and costs $100,595. She also has a Rolls-Royce Dawn and a Fiat Abarth, but the Dawn is her most luxurious open-top car that starts at $398,000 without any customization. Now let's take a look at Shakira's car collection. She might not have as many cars as J.Lo, but she still has a collection worth bragging about. She has been spotted driving a Mercedes-Benz SLK worth $43,950. But the crown jewel of her collection is her white Tesla Model S. With a starting price of $95,000, it's the most expensive car in her collection. But don't let the price fool you. The Tesla Model S can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.98 seconds, and that brings it in the league of the fastest rides ever. So, who has the better car collection and the craziest garage? Well, this point clearly goes to J.Lo. Round 2. Properties J.Lo, the queen of entertainment, has owned some of the most luxurious homes in the U.S., her first mansion, located in Beverly Hills, was purchased in 2000 for $4.3 million and sold for $12.5 million in 2004. The seven-bedroom house overlooks Beverly Hills and Studio City and boasts 15,000 square feet of living space with 11 bedrooms, its own theater, a large pool and spa, a tennis court, a guest house with a gym, and an outdoor living space. J.Lo's Miami Beachfront Retreat, which she bought in 2002 for an undisclosed amount, sits on over 1.2 acres of land with gardens and palm trees. The 10-bedroom house has 13 bathrooms, a lift, a theater, and a wine cellar. The place also features a huge swimming pool, a spa, and an outdoor kitchen. It sold for $40 million in 2005. J.Lo and her ex-husband, Mark Anthony's Long Island Estate, was purchased in 2000 for $3.7 million. The house has 10 bedrooms, 8.5 bathrooms, a recording studio, and a cinema. The estate features a swimming pool, tennis courts, and a guest house. J.Lo bought a second house across the street for $2 million in 2008. Talk about a real estate portfolio! On the other hand, Shakira has owned several properties in different parts of the world. One of her most expensive properties is her Uruguay farm, which she used as a writing retreat to work on her music. The farm is set on over 12 acres of land and boasts seven bedrooms, a cinema, a gym, and a recording studio. It also has a heated pool, a lake with boats, a sauna, and a tennis court. Shakira's love for fitness is evident in her choice of property, as she often spent her days swimming and playing tennis on the farm. Shakira's Miami mansion is another luxurious property, the stunning home, which spans over 8,000 square feet, was bought by the singer for just under $3.4 million in 2001. She even renovated the place and upgraded it by adding new floors and much more, even new lights. The kitchen has modern white cabinets, while the entertainment wing is decked out with the craziest sound equipment and even a pool table. But it looks like J.Lo is way ahead in the real estate game as well. Another point for Jennifer Lopez. Round 3. Watches J.Lo and Shakira have been known to sport some seriously expensive timepieces. J.Lo, for one, has been seen wearing a stunning Rolex Day Date 40mm in 18 carats rose gold with an olive green dial and Roman numerals on the dial. This limited edition model was made for the 60th anniversary of the watch and goes for a market price of around $45,000. But that's not all. 
She also loves her Rolex date just on a Jubilee bracelet, which is a classic timepiece that exudes elegance and sophistication. And let's not forget the iconic Benefer watch, a Frank Muller Sintry Curvex on a Chrome Hearts bracelet, which was gifted to Ben Affleck by JLo back in 2002. This small but mighty watch is still a staple in Affleck's collection and is estimated to be worth thousands of dollars. While Shakira has been spotted wearing the Rolex Daytona in 18 karat Everose gold with a chocolate dial and diamond hour markers, this luxurious timepiece is estimated to cost around $40,000. She even compared herself to a Rolex in her new diss track, where she targets Peak and says, You traded a Rolex for a Casio. Looks like Shakira really is all for luxury. But when it comes to actual ice on the wrist, this point again goes to JLo. Round 4. Yachts When it comes to yachts, it seems like JLo and Shakira are in two different leagues. JLo might not own a yacht of her own, but she knows how to treat herself and her beau to a fancy ride on a $100 million chartered yacht named Valerie. Meanwhile, Shakira might have enjoyed some family time on a small vessel, but let's be honest, it's like comparing a paddle boat to a luxury liner. Sorry, Shakira, but this point goes to J-Lo for sailing in style. Round 5. Jewelry On J-Lo's birthday, she received a stunning 18-karat gold and diamond love golden key necklace from Foundry, complete with symbols representing love, protection, and guidance. The necklace reportedly costs around $24,500, which is no small sum. And JLo's most treasured piece of jewelry is an 8.5 carat blue diamond ring from Harry Winston, which Mark Anthony proposed with back in 2003. The ring is estimated to be worth around $4 million. For her wedding to Ben Affleck, JLo wore $53,000 classic white South Sea cultured pearl earrings with diamonds set in platinum, along with a matching white South Sea cultured pearl and diamond floral ring that retails for $39,000. She also wore a pair of Mikimoto pearl and diamond studs worth $85,000. On the other hand, Shakira's jewelry collection is not widely known, but we do know that she has a penchant for unique and artistic pieces. But in this battle of bling, JLo scores another point. Round 6. Business Shakira has sold over 100 million records worldwide, won countless awards and runs a philanthropic charity organization. She's even been listed as one of the most powerful women in the world by Forbes. Meanwhile, JLo's brand, Low by Jennifer Lopez, has become a household name since the release of her debut fragrance, Glow, in 2001. Her brand has expanded to include clothing, accessories, and even bedding, making her a force to be reckoned with in the lifestyle space. And let's not forget about her successful music career, world tours, and Las Vegas residency, which have all helped her build her fortune. JLo's business is reportedly worth around $2 billion. So looking at the cash, JLo certainly scores another point. Before we move on to the final round, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to like, comment, and share. And don't forget to subscribe to Billionaire Battle and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming showdowns. Final Round Income and Net Worth When it comes to their yearly income, both JLo and Shakira are making bank. JLo reportedly pulls in $40 million each year, while Shakira isn't far behind with over $35 million. And if we look at their overall net worth, JLo is certainly ahead of the game with a reported $400 million to her name. However, Shakira is not far behind, with an impressive net worth of $300 million. Both these icons have contributed big time to music, and even if JLo has the cars, the bling, and the business, Shakira has given us Waka Waka, Wherever, Whenever, and many other hits. And the shade she threw at her ex and his new girl is priceless. But there can only be one winner. And since we've got ourselves a billionaire battle, not a Savage X showdown, the winner is, you guessed it, it's JLo. The queen of the block has a net worth that is enough to buy a small island and she really takes the crown when it comes to living the high life. Thanks for watching.